If you're getting ready to buy your first record player, at some point you probably wondered, what's the difference between a direct drive turntable and a belt drive turntable? Well, today we're gonna find out. Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I am Jarrett New, and today we're gonna talk about the main differences between direct drive turntables and belt drive turntables, and we're gonna find out if one is better than the other or if it even matters at all. But before we get to that, I just want to quickly mention three things. Number one, when I was editing last week's video about the acoustic foam, I realized that there's definitely still a lot of echo in this room, even with the foam panels installed. Now, I could buy more foam and get a large rug for this room, but because we're gonna be headed back to LA pretty soon, there's really no need for that. So for now, the acoustics in here are gonna be just fine. Number two. Lately, a lot of you guys have been mentioning how you don't really care for the green screen behind me and you like the old background better. Now, I completely agree with you. I don't really care much for this cheesy green screen either. But as I just mentioned, I am traveling at the moment and all my vinyl stuff is in storage. But not to worry, because when I'm back in LA, I'm gonna return to the normal background. And number three. Now, the last thing I want to do is pay my respects to Chester Bennington, the lead singer of Linkin Park, who unfortunately took his own life last Thursday. Day. I remember being in sixth grade when Hybrid Theory came out and it changed my life. It was one of the first CDs I ever bought and I loved it. I actually still have it to this day. So I just want to say thank you, Chester, for all the great music that you gave us over the years and you're definitely going to be missed, man. Okay, now on a much lighter note, let's talk about turntables. So as we just said, there's two main types, direct drive and belt drive. Now direct drive means that the motor is directly underneath the platter and belt drive means that the motor is off to one side and spins the platter using a rubber belt. So basically both of these methods do the same thing. They spin the platter, which allows us to play the record. So which turntable is better? Well, it depends on what you want. The speeds on a direct drive turntable are usually gonna be more accurate, but it might transfer more vibrations, meaning the sound quality might not be the absolute best. Now, on the other hand, the belt drive turntables have their motor off to one side, so they're gonna have less vibrations, meaning better sound quality, but there's also the possibility that their speeds might not be as accurate. For example, that belt might slip from time to time and your music could sound off pitch, which would really be distracting. So basically each record player is gonna have its own pros and cons. They're both good, but in different ways. For example, DJs usually prefer direct drive and high-end audiophiles usually prefer belt drive. It's really just a matter of opinion. Now, I usually prefer direct drive turntables, but I'm sure if I saved up enough money and bought a super high quality belt drive turntable, like a VPI Prime, I'd probably be blown away with the sound quality. So you really have to consider a lot of factors. Most importantly, budget. Now, if you're looking to buy your first turntable and you don't really know where to start, I can definitely point you in the direction of the Audio-Technica LP60, the U-Turn Orbit, and the Project Debut Carbon, all of which are belt drive turntables. And if you wanna go direct drive, then I'd suggest picking up the Audio-Technica LP120 or the Stanton T62. Those are both pretty high quality as well. So if you wanna check out all those turntables for yourself, I'll put their links down in the video description below. Now, which one do you guys like more, direct drive or belt drive? Let us all know down in the comments below, and if you love music, join the Vinyl Army and hit subscribe, because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. Also, be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All of my social media links are in the video description down below. And most importantly, guys, have a fantastic day and keep spinning that vinyl.